Bernie Andrei ending his second bid for the presidency, the campaign staff was informed on a conference call Wednesday morning, according to campaign sources. Anders's departure from the race comes a day, after the state of Wisconsin went forward, with a, controversial in, person election, which Anders had called to be postponed. The Vermont senator was momentarily the frontrunner for the nomination, following a popular, vote win in Iowa, a win in New Hampshire, and a decisive victory in Nevada. His chances fell apart in South Carolina, where the dean of the state party, Rep. Jim Clyburn, gave an impassioned endorsement to former Vice President Joe Biden. A race that had been narrowing turned into a blowout. Party moderates then coalesced around Biden, who soared in the polls pulling off the biggest comeback in the shortest amount of time, measured by a swing in the polls, since the modern primary process began in 1972. Biden won a majority of states on Uber Tuesday, and continued racking up victories throughout M. Arch. Ome and Anders's inner circle, including, most vocally, our revolution chair and labor leader Larry Cohen, urged Anders to stay in the race in order to build his delegate total, and leverage that for policy wins within the Democratic Party's platform. Others argued the platform is largely meaningless and that his greatest leverage is in the innate where the economy is being reshaped by an ongoing series of relief efforts historic in scope and scale.